morning, Mount Calvary. I say welcome to another worship experience here at Mount Calvary. Uh, as we go through this service and praising the Lord and glorifying his name, if we could just keep those that have been affected by this storm on our mind and in our prayers. Amen. Amen. Let's start. Come and go into that land. Come and go into that land. Come and go into that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Oh, come and go to that land. Come and go into that land. Come and go into that land where I'm bound. I have a savior in that land. I have a savior in that land. I have a savior in that land where I'm bound. Where I'm bound. Oh, I have a savior in that land i have a savior in that land i have a savior in that land where i'm bound peace and happiness in that land peace and happiness in that land peace and happiness in that land where I'm bound, where I'm bound, oh, peace and happiness in that land, peace and happiness in that land, peace and happiness in that land, where I'm bound, seeking Jesus in that land, seeking Jesus in that land seeking Jesus in that land where I'm bound where I'm bound oh seeking Jesus in that land seeking Jesus in that land seeking Jesus in that land where I'm bound Our scripture reading become from Ephesians chapter 6. I'll begin reading in verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, and against, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Wherefore, take on Take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand and the e in the evil days, and have done all to stand. Yes. Then therefore, having your loin girt about you with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, I read from you, uh, to you from Ephesians chapter six, verses one through thirteen. May God have a blessing on the reading and the hear of His word. We're going to sing an old hymn, hymn 406. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. 
everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation in their trouble anywhere? Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We Heavenly Father, thy God and thy leader. We come humbly before your throne this morning, Heavenly Father. We come to thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank thee, dear Lord, that you have allowed our lives to roll on just a little while longer. Thank you, dear Father. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for the rest that you granted last night. We realize, Father, that it couldn't have been received if you hadn't granted it. So we come to thank you for it, Father. And the calmness that we had, not realizing we had it through the night, we know it was calmness because early this morning, when we rose, Father, we feel good about ourselves. Thank you for that, Father. We thank you for a brand new day, dear Lord. That in it, it just was prosperous to get up this morning. Oh, praise your holy name, dear Father. We come this morning too, Father, because in the house, there is much sickness, Father. Doctors can't do anything with all of it, but thy grace it is yet sufficient. So we put our faith in thee, Father, our trust in our belief. God, we know we can lean on you, dear Lord. Down through the years, Father, you've been so good to us. You healed our bodies. You have calmed our minds. You've just done so many great things for us, this Heavenly Father. We realize, dear Lord, there are systems that are put in place to help us. But none of them is what you have in place for us, Father. So we are truly grateful that indeed we can survive. No matter the conditions, dear Lord, we can survive. So we trust you, Lord. We know there's no other that we can believe in because there's none like thee. You said you couldn't find not one that there wasn't one. Out of all the land, Father, there's not one. I'm so glad, Lord, that there's none like thee. You forgives and you redeem. You care and you love, Lord. You don't care of grudges, you just uplift. 
inspire our hearts today. That we might adopt your ways, Father, because the land trembles. There's trouble everywhere. And it can't be avoided. We just have to endure. Put our trust in you and lean to you, Lord. Because we know you is absolute. You is pure. Yes. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you. Lord, we ask that you will bless our homes. Yes. Comfort them, Lord. Yes. Bless our church. Yes. Give us guidance, Father. As these days that we are in, they are so troubling. And we cannot do anything with them but call on thee. We know, dear Lord, that you care about us. Because down through the years, Father, you've been healing these bodies. They have gotten sick along the way. But you have healed them. We know some, Father. They're going to live on the earth. They're going to be healed in heaven. But we still trust you, Father. We believe in you. We know that thou are righteous. Thou care for your children. Thank you, dear Lord. And that you will bless our pastor. Strengthen him. Encourage him, Father. That as he goes through the storms, that he will seek the calmness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, thy mighty Redeemer. Bless our land, Father. Uplift us. Help us look beyond what we see. Have mercy, Lord. For it is our servant's prayer. Pray in our son Jesus' name. Forever, amen, and thank God. Amen. 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 And pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Oh, hear my humble cry. And while on others thou art calling, say, do not pass me by. I cry, a Savior, a Savior, I hear my humble cry. Now, while on others thou art calling, say, do not pass me by. Now, let me at that throne of mercy. Will find us we really kneeling there in deep contrition. I have my own I'm crying, Savior, Savior, while I hear my bow cry. And while on others thou art calling, they do not pass me by. Now trusting in thy only merit, and would I see thou fail to wear my wounded, broken spirit? Uh, save me by thy grace. I'm crying, a savior. Would you hear my humble cry? Now, while on others thou art calling, say, Do not pass me by. Now through the spring of thy comfort, more than life to me, that when I have my earth inside thee, a whom in heaven be thee, I cry and say, Savior, Savior, 
please, Lord. Yeah. Now, a cry. Now, while on others thou art calling, say, do not pass me by. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're going to prepare our hearts to receive word from the pulpit. Let's give them a round of applause of, as they come. Good morning, Mount Calvary. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You know, it's a good thing that we are here today and we was able to make it that we woke up and made our way in because a lot of people are not able to worship this morning. I saw on the news where a terrible thing happened down there in Troop County and they might not be able to worship for a while because the church got tore up. So you know the devil is busy. So we got to pray and pray and pray because we need him each and every day. Amen. Let us all stand for our call to worship. Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Keep silence, keep silence before him. Most gracious and heavenly Father, once again we, your humble servants, come before thee, Father God. Lord, first just thanking you for yet another day, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the laying down last night and the waking up this morning. Yes. Father, we thank you for watching over us through the night, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, as the thunder roared and the lightning strike, Lord, yes. you was there still protecting us, Father God. Yes. You let no hurt, harm, or danger come to us, Father God. Yes. And you brought us here to worship service this morning. We thank you for that, Lord. Lord, we lift up those in Troop County to you right now. Lord, we lift up those in Mississippi where the tornadoes touch down, Father God. Father God, ease their heart and mind, Father God. Father God, and we pray thee that those that left here last night because of the storm, that they was your children, Father God, and they're there with you, Lord. Lord, this world needs you more and more each and every day. No matter what we're going through, we need you more, Father. We got wars on top of wars. We got people doing spy things. We got people just doing all kinds of crazy things, acting up. Every time I turn around, I'll turn on the news. Somebody done shot somebody, Lord. Lord, we need you to touch these fools out here. Lord, now call them fools because of the fact that if they don't know you, they are fools, Father God. Lord, just continue to work with each and every one of us, Father God, because we need you, Lord. Lord, we lift up the first family to you in their absence, Father God. Father God, we lift up the man that's going to bring the word today, Reverend Stafford, Lord, and his family. Lord, we lift up all the leaders and the congregation of this church, Lord, because it's all about you and it's not about us, Father God. Lord, you brought us here safely and allowed us to come in to worship. I was told this morning that if you can get up and go to work every day, it's a blessing. But if you can get up and go to work every day, you need to get up and come to worship on Sunday morning. So I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to come to worship this morning. Place it in my heart and my mind to get up and go. Lord, sometimes that now and then we need a little extra boost. And I thank you for that boost this morning, Father. Because it seems like on Sunday morning, the devil get busy and say, roll back over. You don't want to get up out that bed. You ain't got to go to church. You, you, you just, just sit there and, oh, you can get online. And there's nothing wrong with being online, Lord. Because they're still in worship service. Lord, but it's so good to be in the house of the Lord on Sunday morning. And we thank you for it. Lord, now open up our hearts and our minds that we be ready to receive the word that you have given Reverend Stanford to give to us this morning. Lord, and just continue to have your way with Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. All these things we pray and we ask in Jesus' most holy and magnificent and precious name. Amen, amen, and amen. Our congregational hymn is on page 249, Blessed Assurance.
Amen. Amen. Our responsive reading will be led by Reverend Henderson. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The responsive reading is in uh, the hymn book, page 604. Let us read together responsively. Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye sh shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. Amen. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, tribulation but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. For he is our peace, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of partitions between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereof. And came and preached peace to you which were far off, and to them that were nigh. And the and peace, peace of God, God which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. you. May be seated. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. And right now, church, we're going to be blessed with a prayer, musical praise from these great musicians and our great covenant choir. Amen. 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 Same choir.
for me in all these years. It makes me want to shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you've done for this food. You can't help but give him the praise. You can't help but give him. When you look back on where he brought you from, the things he brought you through, you have to give him all of the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Give him his due. Hallelujah. And now we have welcoming news at Calvary. April Swain. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, if you don't praise him, the rocks will cry out. But as the song said, when I think about the goodness of the Lord, and if he's never done anything for you, then think about what he did for me or for your friend, or for your mama, or your sister, or your brother. Think about what he did for somebody else you know. And he is worthy of that praise, that hallelujah, the highest praise. He is so worthy. In the midst of everything that we see going on today, when you drove this morning and your, your vision was a little blurry because the, the, you know, the skies were pouring, right? And, and then when you hear on the news that there were people who lost their homes, their entire everything. And yet God saw fit. That we are sitting here in the sanctuary. We got a reason to praise him. And if he never does anything else, my God, he's still good. He is still good. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Mount Calvary. Amen. It is indeed a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And it's on behalf of our pastor that I say to each and every one of you, welcome this morning. If we have anyone who may be visiting with us, because I can't see through the glasses I got on. Um, <laughs> I can see the paper, but not the people. If we have anyone visiting with us, if you will stand, we just want to extend to you some Mount Calvary love this morning. Amen. Well, welcome, family. Amen. Let us continue to be in prayer for each other, but especially for our sick and shut-in members. The scripture has reminded us that it's the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man that availeth much. Remember, Bible study will continue this week. Join us on Zoom at 7 p.m. as we continue our study of the book of Habakkuk. Don't miss this opportunity to study, to learn, and grow in your knowledge of God's word. 
Youth of Calvary, you will have Bible study this Wednesday, March 29th at 7 p.m. All youth are invited. The link can be found on Slack, and you can see Reverend Henderson for more details. To our Golden Age ministry, amen. Those blessed to see age 50 and older. This Saturday, April the 1st, 10 o'clock, you will have your monthly, a bi-monthly fellowship. You are certain to enjoy the friendship, fellowship, fun, and I heard good, good food. Um, with these seniors on the move, if you have your gold polo shirt, wear it. If not, wear another gold shirt and come to the fellowship. Amen. Mark your calendars now for our Metropolitan Baptist Association Seven Last Sayings of Christ service that will be held on Friday, April the 7th at 7 p.m. Our host church is the Cornerstone Community Church where the pastor is Reverend Dr. W.J. Lawson. Calvary members are encouraged to be supportive of this fellowship. Leaders of Calvary, there will be a meeting on Saturday, April the 8th at 10 a.m. And all ministry leaders are urged to be present to share updates on your ministry activities and plans. Our annual Easter program will take place on Sunday, April the 9th. Members who are desiring to participate can contact Sister Cindy Walker for more information. Donations of individually wrapped candy and treats are being requested, as well as fast food gift cards for the Easter gift bags to be given to our young people. You can see Sister Geraldine Snow or Sister Doris Pate for more information. Sisters of Calvary, mark your calendars and make plans to attend our Women's Day activities for 2023. Thank you to all the ladies who have registered for the sold out Equip to Conquer Women's Conference. Amen. That will take place on Saturday, April the 15th. But everyone is invited to join us for worship in all white attire on Sunday, April 16th. Be sure to wear your colorful hat or fascinator and invite your best friend, sister, or daughter to conquer with you. Amen. I have a thank you card here addressed to the Mount Calvary family. <clears throat> and it says to the Confident Care Ministry and Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church family, thank you so much for your gift of love for me in the passing of my dear sister Lucy. Love always, Mother Stitt. Amen. Amen. We want to say happy birthday to everyone who is celebrating this week, March the 26th through April the 1st. If you are here, will you stand or raise your hand? Amen. Well, happy birthday to all those that are celebrating. Our thought for this week, God is not looking for us to be perfect. He wants us to be prayerful. Amen. 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 God not looking for us to be perfect, but he wants us to be prayerful. We all know that there was only one per perfect person that ever walked the face of this earth. And we're here to worship him today. Amen. Amen. We're here to have church today. Amen. We're having church today. Amen. We're having a good time in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I saw people getting up and just shouting just now because they were thinking back of where they came from. Ooh, when we think about Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I know what he done for me. Amen. See. I know what he done for this fool standing up here. I know where he brought me from, how he turned my life around, how he took me off a substance that I didn't need to be on. See, God is good. God can deliver you from anything if you want to be delivered. I don't care what it is. God can do it. Glory, hallelujah. Now it's time. For us to give back just a little something that God has entrusted to us. It's tithe and offering time, y'all. Now, you know, it all belongs to him. But he just wants us to give back 10%. That's all he asks for. Just a little bit. You know, and if you want to give more, that's a good thing. But that 10% can help somebody else along the way that's in need. So our deacons come in the service. The choir is going to give us some music, some giving music, so we can get in the mood. Yes. All right, now. All right.
Has anyone been overlooked? If so, please indicate by raising your hand. We all stand for our offertory of prayer. Deacon Love will lead us in our prayer. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity, Lord, to be in your presence today, to have you here, Lord God, to worship and serve and praise your holy and righteous name. Father, we praise you, Heavenly Father, knowing that when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Father, bless us. Bless us according to thy riches in glory. Father, touch the heart of your people here today, Lord God, who gave. Touch the heart of those, Heavenly Father, who wanted to give and had it not to give. Father, we know, Heavenly Father, that with you all things are possible. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord God, for these offerings, Heavenly Father, that it may be used to the upbuilding of thy kingdom. Yes, Lord. For it's in Jesus' precious name that we do pray. In Jesus' Let name. Let us all say amen. 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 All things. All things come on thee, O Lord, and of thy own, and we give thee all Amen. Amen. At this time, Reverend Staff is going to lead us in altar call. So if you got something that you want to leave at the altar, you want to give to the Lord, feel free to come up to the altar or just stand where you are. Amen. Amen. God our Father, the God that knows all, the God that sees all, the God that understands all. It's once more and again, oh God, we come standing around your altar to thank you, God, for our early rise this morning. Father, as you touched us with the finger of love this morning, oh God. We open our eyes to see a day we never seen before. A day we should never see again. Father, then you allowed us to get dressed, Lord, with the root of our head, clothes on our backs, a car to drive, gas to put in the car, to travel down the highways and the byways, to travel down 285, 20, Highway 85 to arrive at your house of worship to praise your holy and righteous name. Father, we are here this morning to say thank you. Father, it could have been us, Lord, 
in the midst of that storm this morning. It could have been us, Lord, losing our life this morning, Lord. It could have been us, Lord, losing our house this morning. But your grace and your mercy saw fit for it not to be. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you. We don't take it for granted, oh God. We ask right in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Bless those that lost their lives this morning, Father. Bless those that lost their homes this morning, Father. Bless those that lost their church this morning, God. Yeah. Knowing that you are God that loves of all, loves of all, Lord. You are a God that makes no mistake. That's right. You are a God that knows everything that you've done. Mm -hmm. So God, we thank you this morning. Yeah, thank you, Lord. If it had not been for your grace and your mercy, mm -hmm. if it had not been for your love for us, God, we would be somewhere lost in our sins, oh God. I'd ask right now, Father, that you bless the Mosley family, Father God. Bless the passing of Pastor Tony Mosley. Bless his family right now, God. For God, we know what they're going through, Father. We ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, touch their hearts, Father. Touch Woods Memorial as a whole, God. Let them know, Father, that you are still around. That you are God of a second, third, and fourth chance. Father, bless Mount Calvary as a whole, oh God. Father, if we ever needed you, Lord, we need you right now, God. Father, bless our pastor in his absence, oh God. Bless his family, Father. Bless somebody that wanted to be here this morning. It just couldn't make it, dog. Bless those that are under the sound of my voice right now. Father, bless those that are on Zoom, on Facebook. Yes, Lord. Father, bless somebody that don't know you in the presence of their sins right now, God. Yes, Lord. Bring us all back to our remembrance, oh God. Everything that you have taught us, Father. Father, bless us right now, Lord. We need you, Lord. If we ever needed you, Lord, we need you right now, Lord. Because when the storms of life begin to rage, Lord, have mercy on us. When the rain pours down on us, have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us, Father, even in the midst of our storms. When we can't do anything about them because, Lord, you said in your word, you got us, Lord. You said you would never leave us, nor would you forsake us. And we thank you right now, Father. Bless this mother's board. Bless the deacon board. Father, bless Mount Calvary as a whole, God. And when it's all said and done, Father, when praying time is over, when preaching time is over, when we can't sing anymore, Lord, when we're stressed out at your altar, God, have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you for everything that you have done, everything that you're going to do. Yes, Lord. We ask all these blessings in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Yeah. Bless the sick, bless the afflicted, bless, Father, the bereaved right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray and ask it all. Let every heart say amen. 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 Mm. Indeed, it's preaching time. After the singing of the choir, as they bless our souls this morning, I will come back and we will hear a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 Come on, choir.
think we need to say that one more time. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. All the things that I Just for a few seconds, let me let me hear that beginning again. Sing, sing a little bit more of that for me. Sing a little bit more for me, y'all. Yeah, take it back to the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the things that I've been through. Been through. Come on, choir. Don't 
try to figure it out. Don't try to figure it out. my words. Because my words. My words. It's for real. It's for real. It's for real. My words. Because my words. just listen to the words of the song. You can't figure it out why I shout like I do. You can't figure out why my worship and the things that I've been through you can't understand my praise. Don't try to figure it out. Everybody praise God in a different way. But as long as your worship to him is for real, that is all that matters. First giving honor to the Lord who is the head of my life. To my pastor in his absence, to my mothers, to my deacons, to you, Mount Calvary. You know, I love the Lord. Amen. And I won't take it back. Amen. Because my worship to him is for real. Amen. Let us pray before we do anything. Let, 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 us, let, us, let us look to the Lord. Eternal God, our Father, thank you for my worship, God. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be here this morning, oh, Father God, to stand before you, Lord, knowing, Lord, that my worship to you is for real, God. Thank you for your many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, oh, God. Now, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For you are my strength, you are my redeemer. In the mighty name of Jesus that I pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen. I was asking the Lord, said, well, Lord, what, 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 what do you want me to do? And I was talking to my wife. My baby girl got me the wrong book. It's all right. Come here. Go to the car right quick. That's all I got something to do while she's going to the car right quick. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But we will be coming from Mark chapter 4. <laughs> it's all right. Though the storm keep on raging in my life. And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still the hope that lies within is reassured. As I cast my eyes upon the distant shore, I know he'll see me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't cease, and if the winds keep on blowing in my life, my
the storms keep on raging in my life. And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still the hope that lies within is reassured. I cast my eyes upon the distant shore. I know he'll see me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't cease and if the wind Sometimes in this life we're going to be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. But in the word of God, I've got an anchor and it keeps me steadfast, unmovable, despite that sometimes in this life we're going to be tossed sometimes by the waves and the currents it may seem fierce but when your soul is anchored in the Lord the hellhounds can come and try to take you but when your soul is anchored there's nothing that God won't see you through chapter 4. I was asking the Lord, I said, Lord, I said, I didn't realize what was going to be happening <laughs> in the past 24 hours. <laughs> but when God has a place, when he knows what is going on, he will lead you as long as you allow him to lead you. Amen. 
chapter 4, verses 37 through 41. Uh, I realize uh, I, me and Reverend King both have preached this previously, but when the Holy Spirit leads you somewhere, you got to go. Amen. Regardless of what it is. Because I realize one thing that every time you look at something of God, Amen. he always give you a new found faith on it. Yes. It reads, and the storm arose, and there, and there arose a great storm. And the winds were, and the waves were beaten into the ship, so it was now full. He was in the hidden parts of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said unto him, Master, cares not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the seas, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas obey him? Amen. 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 You may be seated. Just for a few moments, I would like to take as a subject, when the storm of life are raging. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, secondary, what, ha what happened when the storms came up? What happened? Often time in life, you will encounter storms. As people of God, we must know what kind of storm it is. In life, my sisters and brothers, there are many different types of storms. Just as the storms that happen in Mississippi, yeah. the storms that happen down in Troop County, mm -hmm. where people lost their lives this morning. We have to pray for them, yeah. knowing that everything that happens to us, God knows about it. Yeah. Everything that happened to us, some way, shape, form, or fashion, God was there. Amen. Because if he was not there, there would have been more people that would have lost their lives. Right. It could have been you. Amen. It could have been me this morning. Amen. That the storms came through. Right. Our houses could have been towed up. Yes, but God spared us. Yes, so we have to thank God. Amen for the storms mm -hmm. because when storms arise he said in his word that he would never leave us nor will he forsake us Amen. there are many different types of storms that will arise in your life mm -hmm. there are storms of finances mm -hmm. where the money is funny yeah. the change is strange yeah. the penny are not many yeah. and the dollars make you want to holler yeah. When your money, your, when your bank account, mm -hmm. and it seems there's no way out, mm -hmm. I recommend Jesus. Yeah. I recommend the one that, 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 that can do anything but fail. Amen. His name is Jesus. Amen. When you can't see your way through, call on God. Amen. He will see you through. Yes, there are many different types of storms that will arise in your life. And when they do, call on Jesus. Yes. Won't he show up yes, and show out? Yes, Won't he make your enemies your footstool? Uh -huh. Won't he give you back all that you lost? Yes. I recommend Jesus. Amen. As people of God, God never said that we wouldn't have trials and tribulations. But we have to confess him. He will see us through 
are storms. I believe storms come our way to show us that God will see us through whatever it is we're going through. Call on Jesus. As people of God, we have to be reminded that when storms arise in our life, we can go down on our knees and talk to the man. The one one with eyes like fireball, Mm -hmm. hair like lamb wool, feet like polished brass. In life, we are going to go through many different types of storms. We're going to go through, as married people, we're going to go through marital storms sometime. Knowing that there's no perfect marriage where the wife is giving 80% and the husband the husband probably giving 20% or vice versa where the husband is giving 90% and the wife is giving 10%. Even in those situations, God will see you through. Thank God there's marriage counseling. Thank God there's preachers that understand the word of God that you can talk to in the time of your storm. Then there are going to be times when you're going to lose loved ones. You might lose the breadwinner in the house. Knowing that God makes no mistake about it. When things like that happen, Call on Jesus. I know sometimes it's going to be difficult. I know sometimes it's going to be hard when you lose a loved one. But God never said that it was going to be easy. But he said he will always be there with you in the time of your storms. How many of us have had problems in our life that we just don't understand. How many times have a storm arose in your life and you just don't know what to do about it? I recommend Jesus. In life, there are going to be problems in, in finances. That's a storm where all the money is getting spent. Maybe it might be, you might have a gambling problem. You might have a shopping problem where the money is gone and the lights is off, the gas is off, the water is off. That's a storm. Our children encounter storms in school. Maybe it's peer pressure. Gang violence. Maybe it's listening to other people that don't know about what you know about. Mm-hmm. Our children has it worse off than we have it. We had it. There's shooting in schools. There's rapes and robbers in school. We gotta put God back in our school. Our children are going through a storm. Our job as the church, we are to pray for our kids. We are to lead our kids in prayer. And as a matter of fact, we ought to bring our children to church. So when the storm arrives in their life, they know what to do. They know who to call on. The reason why there's so much hell in the household. Hmm. Come on now. Because we have taken out of the house. I remember coming up. My grandmother raised me. Mama was a praying woman. She believed in the power of prayer. She knew that whatever was going on with her children, God could fix it. Mama believed that going to church was not an option. Going to church was a command. And on Sunday morning, you got up 
and you went to church Amen. because you understood that there was going to come a time when you went, when you're going to need Jesus. Yes. That's why you got to send your timber up. <laughs> at, when, at, at, at the time that you need him, he already know who, who you is because you, because he's heard from you time and time again. Yes. Our children, like I say, has it worse off than we did. Yeah. Because we didn't think about guns. We fought. We, 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 and then after we got through fighting two, three hours later, we back friends. Nowadays, kids want to shoot. Where they get the guns from, we don't know. But we, 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 we loved on one another. When you take prayer out of school, when you take prayer out of the homes, yes. Satan can come in. Yes. And when he comes in, he comes in with a vengeance. Yes. But when you got Jesus there, yes. Satan can't abide what Jesus is. Yes. So when Jesus is in your house, you don't have to worry about the devil coming in. Yes. Here in our text, Jesus has taken his disciples from the classroom straight to the laboratory. You know what the laboratory represents sometimes. There's a lot of things going on. And, and remind and I remind you that these were disciples, his, his disciples, they were fairly new. So therefore, they didn't see a lot of miracles that Jesus did. So now Jesus has taken his disciples and they have gotten into a ship. And he said, let us go to the other side. So he has taken them from the laboratory, from, from the classroom, always to the laboratory, having just taught them that God's power will cause his kingdom to grow to the worldwide a petition and be a big influence in our lives. Now he has taken his disciples to teach them some things that they have never seen before. So now they are in this ship and a great storm arrives. My first point to you this, to this morning, verse 38 says, And when he was in the hinder's part of the ship, asleep on a pillar, and there arose a, and asleep him, and he said unto, and, and they said unto him, Master, cares not that we perish. My first point to you this morning, when you know who Jesus is, Amen. don't panic. Amen. They panic this morning. Amen. When you know that the disciples were new, and when the storm arose, they called on Jesus. Amen. Even though they were new, they knew that Jesus could save them. Amen. Even though you've been a new Christian, you know if you call upon the name of Jesus, yes, he can save you. Amen. He is the only one who can save us. A storm comes to do us one or two things, to make us strong or to break us. And I pray this morning, when your storm arises in your life, it will make you stronger. Amen. When the storm come in your life, it will make you better and know who you can depend on. Amen. When it comes up, call Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you can call the pastor, but he might have a storm going on. Amen. Sometimes you might can call a deacon, but he, can, he might have a storm going on. Amen. You might can call a mother, but she might have a storm going on. Amen. The only one that can save you in the midst of your storm is the man God. Amen. He is the only one that can see you through your storm. Amen. When you have faith in God, it will make you stronger in your religion and in your faith. Amen. Storms are come, up, come in our life to let us know that God can do anything but fail. Amen. Verse 39 says, And he arose mm -hmm. and rebuked the wind and said unto the seas, Peace, 
be still. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says, and there was, and the wind ceased. I can see Jesus <laughs> getting up out of his sleep. He might have been dreaming about the Last Supper. He might have been dreaming about how he's going to save us. Waking up, waking Jesus up out of his sleep. And he rebuked the wind. And he said unto the seas, peace, be still. And that was a great calm. When Jesus calms your storm, Amen. you can sleep at night. Amen. When Jesus calms your storm, Amen. you can say, what a friend Amen. we have in Jesus. Amen. All our sins and griefs to bear. Amen. When Jesus calms your storm, Amen. you can say, I can look to the hills Amen. from which cometh my help. Amen. All my help comes from the Lord. That's when you got Jesus in your life. That's when you know he can calm your storm in the midst of your tribulations and your trials. Secondly, you must believe and have faith. You must believe and have faith. Verse 40 says, and he said unto them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? When in doubt, try to step in to where Jesus is and have faith. When doubt sets in, you must have faith. When doubt is in your mind, it makes you forget who Jesus is, what he can do. What's your purpose in life or how to pray? When, when you have doubt, you, you forget to know the man Jesus. That's why you have to allow him to be the most intricate part of your life. Because Satan won't, the Bible says, says that Satan wants to sip us as wheat. But God said, I prayed for you. You cannot allow doubt to come in. You got to know who Jesus is. When doubt set, sets in, it will make you forget God can do anything but fail. Doubt will make you lose your mind or lose your confidence in what Jesus can do for you. Right here, these guys forgot who Jesus was. It says it right here, and he said unto them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? You saw me do a few miracles. You saw me go to Peter's mother-in-law's house and heal her. You saw these things. But even in that, you got to realize that these guys was fairly new as his disciples. So therefore, they didn't see Jesus do a lot of miracles. Not at this point in time. But even in that, we still got to know who God is. Amen. We still got to know. We got to know the God that, 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 that mama talked about. Yeah. We got to know the God that mama prayed to each and every day. That, that daddy prayed to each and every day. These guys feared. But watch this though. You must know in a time of storm that God won't let you down. Amen. Thirdly, you must know that God can do anything but fail. Amen. And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, what manner of man is this? Who is this man that can do, this, can, can, that, that can do these miracles? Who is this man that can calm this, this, this raging sea? Because this, I'm, I'm quite sure that this was a time in their life that they'd never seen a storm like this. But like I said, God took them straight from the classroom, straight to the laboratory, to show them who he was, what he could do, and how he could do it. And they, and, and, and they feared exceedingly and said to one another, what manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas, they obey him. 
They were amazed to see such a violent storm arise. When God do it, he do it big. When God steps in, you know it's handled. When God steps in, you know everything that is going on in your life will be all right. When God steps in, you know everything that, 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 that is going on, there's a change is about to come. Amen. That's when God steps in. Yeah. God stepped in, showed up, and showed out. Yeah. He let them know that I am the one yes. that can come with rage and see. When God steps in, your defeat will turn into victory. Yes. When God steps in, you can you can tell Satan, get thee behind me. Yes. When God steps in, yes. when God steps in, life as you know it will become sweeter. Yes. Sweet I know. Yes. When God steps in, you can say, what a friend we have in Jesus. Yes. Oh, sins and griefs the bell. When God steps in, your rainy days will become like sunshiny days. That's when God steps in. When God steps in, you can say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm more than a conqueror. When God steps in your life, you can say, Satan, I don't know what you're going to do, but I know one thing, you're not going to do it to me because I'm a child of God. That's when God steps in. When God steps in your life, you can walk with victory. You can walk with knowing that there will not be no defeat in your life. That's when God steps in. When God steps in, you can shout hallelujah. Because I realize one thing, when you got Jesus in your life, everything will be all right. That's when God steps in. When God steps in, you can say, your enemies, you can get deep behind me. Because I am a child of God. I am the one that he raised this morning. I am the one that loves him. He loves me. That's when God God steps in. When God steps in, everything you know to be wrong will be turned right. That's when God steps in. When God steps in your life, your family, I guarantee you one thing, will become right. That's when God steps in. When he steps in your life, you can walk in victory, knowing that Jesus is the one that can see you through all your pain, all your sorrow, all your worries. That's when God steps in. I come to tell somebody this morning. Get Jesus in your life. If you don't have him, try him and I guarantee you he will show up and show out. That's when God steps in. God stepped in for these guys and let them know that I am the one that can calm your stormy seas. I am the one that you can depend on in a time of trouble. I am the one that you can call on in the midnight hour. When mom and dad is gone, I am the one that you can depend on. You got to get Jesus in your life. Jesus stepped in, <laughs> took over, calmed the raging seas, showed these guys that I am the one. I'm the one that you can depend on. When he steps in your life, you don't have to worry about what man say. I guarantee you, whether you be in this sanctuary or you be on Facebook, Get Jesus. Yes. Let him step in your life. Yes. And, and, and when he step in your life, let him take over. Yes. Your friends may walk away from you. Your family may turn their back on you. But when God steps in, you don't have to worry about it. Because you will never be alone. That's right. But I got to tell you one more thing. One more thing I got to tell you. He stepped in and saved me of my sin. Yeah. You know what he did? He went up on a, a, a place called Calvary. Yeah. He allowed them to nail him in his hand. Yeah. Nail him in his feet. Yeah. He never said a mumbling word. He stepped in for me. When he stepped in, he allowed them to pierce him in his side. The Bible said that blood and water ran down and called a great earthquake. The sun refused to shine. Why did it refuse to shine? Because the sun said, there can't be two suns shining at the same time. He died for 
my sins ain't for your sin. They take him down and put him in a borrowed grave. Y'all yeah. know anything that's borrowed, you got to give it back. Yeah. He stayed there all night Friday night, all day Saturday. Yeah. But I come to tell somebody this morning, Allie! It was on a Sunday morning, just like this one. It was raining outside, but I come to tell you, he got up. He got up. Not with some power, but all power in his hand. Your storms come to make you strong. Your storms come to show you who Jesus is. So when they come up, all you got to do is say, Jesus, I need you. Come and calm my raging storm. And when you say it, you can go to sleep on a pillow. And you can say, peace, be still. When the storms came up, yeah, the disciples got worried. The disciples, they was fearful. But Jesus said, I got you. I'm telling somebody this morning. Jesus said, I got you. You don't have to worry about nothing. I got you. You don't have to feel about a raging storm. I got you. When he got you, go to sleep. Rest. My wife asks me all the time, how can you sleep during the violent storm? <laughs> Jesus said, I got you. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Regardless of what happens in your life, know, know that you know that you know Jesus got you. And you can sleep on a pillar just as he was. But he had to get up and show them that I got this. And they, and they, they was like, hmm, who is this man that can calm a raging storm like this? Jesus can. No? Thank you, Lord. That God is. He's a reward of those that diligently seek him. And know when the storms arise. All right. Though the storm of life is raging, Lord, stand by me. When the storm of life is raging stand by me when I've done all that I know stand the doors of the church is open the doors of the church are now open by me know that God is the storm chaser he is the one that can do anything but fail would that be one day come and get this God that can calm your storm knowing that he is the one that you can call on in the midst of your storm. Would that be one today? Jesus stands at the door of our heart and knock. He said, if any man opens up, I'll come in and sup with him. So would that be one today? Can get this Jesus that can calm your raging storms. Even though the disciples were fearful, he still was able to show them who he was. So would there be one today? Come to Jesus just as you are. You don't have to be out there on the island all by yourself. Knowing that Jesus will be right there with you. 
knowing that he will come your storm. Will there be one today? You may not be in the sanctuary. You might be on Zoom, or on Facebook. Wherever you are, God is there. If you have confessed with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that, he, that God raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Amen. Come to Jesus. Will there be one? He can save you. I can't save you, but God can save you. All I can do is petition you on God's behalf. Will there be one? Amen. All church, all saved. Amen. Let God step in your life and calm your raging storm. I thank you for lending me your ears this morning to God's word. Let him step in your life. If you don't, know, if you don't have him, make God the, sin, the center of your joy. I thank you this morning. Is there anything else to be said, Deacons? We good? Amen. Well, we can go home. Amen. Let us all stand. Amen. Let us sing our closing song. Let the church say amen. for coming our raging seas. Lord, we thank you for coming our storm. Now to him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Father, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Now his forth and forevermore. And we can all sing together. you this week, you may be dismissed.